Got some blue. Yeah. About a 50 carat knuckle right there. But you can see the nice clear blue going through the middle. So that's probably gonna cut a nice 10, 15 carat stone. That's money. I love it. World class specimens are shaping up there, guys. Craig Cardwell, uh, owner of the Blue Star Claims. Me and my wife Tracy have 14 load claims at 13,800 feet, all the way up to 14, and we're up mining aquamarines. There is no room for failure at all. This is our livelihood. This is what puts food on our table. We could either go bust or we could really hit it big. Me and Tracy will continue working side by side, pushing these guys and making sure we can get every bit of aquamarine production that we can get to where we can run with some of the global competitors. No patch oh blue God. right there. We're just ready to put everything we have in and go big. Expectations are, are high. Amazing. Really? Yep. Nice. So it's starting to pop. Wow. And it's traveling down here. Wow, he's gonna cut right Look through at it. That. And oh. that's going right down below us. There's it's no coming. telling what's in there, you know. Yeah. I mean yeah. when, and it can be yeah. in situ, you yeah. know, you can open it up and then yeah, right boom. exactly. It's like a Z just cutting through there and I bet it's gonna pick up around there as well. Yep, because I mean you can see the barrels all the way down here too. This is new territory. My grandfather dreamed about this. We've got machinery down here and I know thousands of geologists and people that have visited up here have wondered what is behind all this material and we're about to find out. So uh, Tracy and I, uh, the crew, uh, we're literally making our own new history uh, to cut the switchbacks into this talus zone here which is com the complete snow patch. It's just, it's just remarkable, I'm kind of speechless. Um, but we've tracked, a, I think, about a dozen seams coming down that's got potential of getting into. We're really getting a geological picture of the thermals that are actually shooting up and down this yeah. mountain, and they're, they're bigger than we ever thought they were. Yeah. Um, we've got a 75 foot wide band just going straight up the snow patch. Just coming down everywhere, there's just pegs everywhere. There's blue everywhere. We can't wait to get into all of this. So we're gonna get over here. We're gonna check out some seams uh, that uh, Mike and Susie have kind of opened up and, and see where we're at geological wise. And I start looking and I saw purple. And so I'm starting to dig and it just the seam goes all the way down. I mean, it's blown out right now. There's nothing jimmy. But it goes all the way up here and it's deep purple. Look at that fluorite. This is purple fluorite that we get up here on Antero. And so this is just amazing and it just goes all the way down. I mean, there's nothing jimmy, but this is such a good indicator. And look at this, it's so pretty. Definitely chances of finding clear fluorite over here. I mean, this could just be the beginning of it. This seam, I've never seen, you know, just run so long like this in so deep purple. So, huh, this is so exciting. Right look, how, look at that. So, I know, right? <laughs> we don't have nothing to start up here. Never seen a fluorite line. You see that you see the little right. notch, right? But oh yeah, a, a, a flow. That's a what? flow. That's a flow of flow. <laughs> <laughs> see, you want to see the iron. You want to see the barrel, and then seeing the fluorite. That's just icing on the cake too. Oops. 
Ooh, that's really purple. That's dark purple. That is so beautiful. Man, I mean, to push into something like this right now, uh, we've got the guys just kind of hand digging. Uh, if we disturb this area, we take a chance in collapsing into the road area here. So uh, we got to kind of pick and choose our battles right now, where we're going to be pulling and, and kind of going into. Got some pinnacles. Look at that, yeah. huh? Yeah. So yeah, we got phenakites just pouring out right here. Nice orange color. Wow. plate. There's a little plate with phenakite on it that's on a awesome piece of fells bar and looks like it might have a little bit of fluoride here on the corner. This is where, I mean, this is where the deep blue and the stuff is I've never come. seen blue this deep. I know. Oh. I'm so flipping excited. Yeah. Oh my god. We really didn't know what we were going to get till we got down there, started scraping around. Uh, Tracy snipped out a couple pegs. Mike, as he was going, just marking peg after peg. James and Lucas got in behind that, did what they do best, extracting pockets. Uh, to be able to get down here and get into these really, really productive zones, not to take anything away from the north, but th this is just different. This, this is the snow patch and we're, we're here. All right, we just got Colin to dig this out for us, and we're really excited because we have all this fresh material, and we can't wait to prove to everybody that there are gemstones on the south side of Mount Intero. I love fresh material. Yeah, we got lots of fresh material. <laughs> lots of fresh material. Oh. Oh, wow. Nice smoky. Look. Sticky on the back side. Looks like it had an aqua there. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, oh, it still that. does. Part of one, anyways. <laughs> that's cool. It needs to go on that little channel right uh -huh. there. Yeah, that's awesome. That's sweet. Nice find, babe. A nice big chunky thumb size smoky with an aqua stuck to it. This place has good potential. I was hoping that was a big fat fina cut and it's just a smoky chunk. Smoky chunk. There's a lot more brown than the other stuff, isn't it? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So it makes it hard to see the crystals sometimes if it's sticking to them because it's wet enough. You gotta look for that one face to show up. You know, just gotta keep going through the material and Oh my gosh. Oh, whoa. oh wow. That's gorgeous. Wow. That's gorgeous. I mean it's beat yeah. up, but it's still gorgeous. Still, look at the color in that thing. It'll make a great necklace. Yeah, it would. It's really etched up and looks like it's been falling down a mountain for 25 million years. But, you know, it's probably one of the nicest crystals this year we've pulled off this side. Nice big 30 carat aqua and thumb size smoky with an aqua stuck to it. We're gonna dig our heels in and we're gonna see what comes next. scraping uh, we've hit one two and this is the third pocket here of uh, some really good blue we're gonna check this knot right here and just kind of keep pushing in uh, we've already got some pretty good crystals popping out some of its Jimmy uh, some of it's still kind of bulled up 
We've got the Smokies, uh, Aqua coming. So as you can see, you know, we've got full hexagonal structure here, nice size, but it's kind of opaque. It's really not quite there Jimmy wise. Um, it does have a little clear spot in the middle of it. But then as we moved up the crystal, we actually got a little bit jimmier. And that is a beautiful cutter there. Let me wash that for you. About a 50 karat knuckle right there. It's highly etched on the outside, but you can see the nice clear blue going through the middle. So that's probably gonna cut a nice 10, 15 karat stone. That's money. I love it. When you start getting this black in here like this, you really gotta keep your eyes peeled. Um, so uh, we've got a lot of nice smaller ones that are in this pocket. So let's wash it and see what pops up here. Me and Mike uh, kind of made the call. We're gonna get a water hose down here and we're gonna just kind of gently wash this so we don't miss anything. We got our small screens, but we do have a water hose that we can drop off. Uh, that's gonna help us see everything and make sure we don't miss anything. Now we're getting there. Now we're really getting there. Money. Yeah, this is a nice clear one and it's crazy that this one come out right next to where this big fractured one came out of and then right next to it you find super clear ones look at these great ones for cotton for sure there's some real good legit in here oh. Oh. yeah so yeah just a simple wash you know you can be missing that you know down in this duff and uh, we'll have to do this with the whole pocket Five and ten carat poppers everywhere. We likes it. Man, that is just amazing blue. That's what it's all about right there. It really is. That's clear in there. That looks good. just got off the phone with Craig and Tracy. They say that they are heading down the mountain with a whole bunch of new finds from the snow patch that they're really excited about and they wanna show off and catch me up to speed on. I always try to catch up with Craig as soon as possible whenever he has new items coming off the mountain so that they don't end up in a closet somewhere. We can get them out on the shelf and make sure that everybody sees it, not just him. <laughs> It is our high season. Um, if we need to have more stock out on the shelf, we can get that done in a timely manner and take care of all of the, the back end things that nobody ever sees going on with the store between phone calls and orders and special orders and um, just getting new inventory out on the shelf. Hey Tracy, how are you doing? Good, I've got a lot of goodies to show you. Awesome. So this is going to be really quick because i got to get back up on the mountain. Right. But uh, we've got some really good stuff. Great. Cool. So we've got, of course, you know, the aquamarine. Mm -hmm. So they've got Smokies in there, Phenakite, aquamarine on Bertrandite. Okay. Is, this is more of the iron staining that you're seeing. Right. Yeah. And there. there's a lot of pieces that have the iron. You see the iron stains, you're going to see the blue, and it does. It helps with the deeper blue. It's got okay. some Smokies in there, but all of these have Phenakites on them. And that's very sought after. Look at this smoky piece. I mean, it's beautiful. That's prime. I mean, isn't that beautiful? Somebody's mm -hmm. gonna want that in their collection for sure. So we'll get all these price tagged 
and you know out on the shelves. So what we're going to do is walk you through some of the minerals that that we found, or actually Snow Patch Adam had prospected. Uh, down in the snow patch, which is one of our main target areas this year. Yeah. So these are kind of like the preliminary signs on the outer rind of where this deposit is. Everything's a little bit beat up right now from the pockets, but that's such a good indicator of what's there and the color is really good. Yeah, we've got amazing combos coming out and Tracy's yeah. gonna to explain to you what some of these combos look like and what they... what yeah, they Just uh, like this one right here, it's a really pretty aqua. The color is amazing. It's got some phenakite on it and some smokies and it's on Bertram type. It's really, really pretty. What, what's happening here geologically? So you've got the aquamarine growth that's coming into the pocket. Uh, then we have what we call secondary growth. So there's a second stage and the best way it was explained to me and Tracy once by one of our geologists, picture a lava lamp, you know, when those bubbles kind of bubbling up. These bubbles kind of run up through the cracks and then they'll cool which gives us the aquamarine. And then we have what we call a secondary growth. Uh, so another inclusion of magma will come up through the faults, through the faults and will coat these materials and crystallize. Right. Now, um, when phenakite breaks down and aquamarine breaks down, you also get topaz in that third stage. So that's given us the sherry topaz that we're finding as of lately, and it's gorgeous. It's so pretty. So here we have a little glob that's that's just got so many minerals going on it. Here's uh, purple fluorite, um, aquamarine, there's the phenakite right there, and it's surrounded by bertrandite. And all the secondary growth, you know, it's very solid. Uh, the growth is, is just conglomerated into one little area here with so much going on. You know, a lot of people say, well, you can't have phenakite and aqua and fluorite together, well, here it oh, is. There it is, and the little needles. Pull You've got well-formed right needles, well-formed growth. But, you know, and that's what collectors are looking for, you yeah. know, things that are intact. Exactly. You know, and I really think that it's gonna get bluer and bluer and bigger. We're just on the surface. Just what's gonna be underneath all of this is gonna be so sweet. So now it's up to me to make sure that we get this priced and ready and cleaned up to go out on the shelf so that these collectors can get in here and get all the new stuff from the snow patch. As you're digging down, you still want to prospect. You know, these guys that, that are coming up here to do the prospecting, you know, we still have to send them out and, and look at other areas as well to keep that production up. That That's part of it, trying to create a balance of still paying the bills, getting the infrastructure in. So we didn't put all our eggs in one basket with, with the snow patch, just building the road. We did still have our pivot zones that allowed us to keep up great production. And uh, it's, still, it's still producing, but I, like I said, I think we got about a week and we'll see what comes out of the end. But um, everybody that tunes in, we're glad to share uh, what we're doing up here. We, we, we appreciate it. And if you're ever in Colorado, come see us. Mount Ontario's not going anywhere. And uh, come get you some blue.